This is Jerry Greenfield back at Survival Garden on a fine North Carolina July day. I want to talk to you a little bit about applying Protogrow because actually you can do it in two methods. Uh, now one of which, if you got plants that really, really need a boost, you want to apply it as a spray. Now, this little bottle of Protogrow goes an awful long way when you're spraying it on your plants. First of all, you're mixing nine teaspoons per gallon. That's right, long way. Now, when you're applying your spray, you want to do this like first thing in the morning. When the birds start chirping out there, you want to get out and do your spray. Now, there's good reason for that. See, plants have pores called stomata. Um, they're open in the morning. That way they absorb. Now later, when the heat of the day comes on, those pores are going to close up. So they're not going to get all the benefits of the protogrow. Shake it up. Give it a good shake before you pressurize it. Otherwise, <laughs> well, take my word for it. You just don't want to be covered with it. Once you get all Once you shake it up, Get all good and shaken there. And give it a little pressure here. Get the droplets out nice and thin. Little tiny droplets. You feel the resistance. You feel the resistance, you're good to go. And then you're set to spray. Now some of you out there might be wondering, Jerry, what's up with this fancy doodad? You're doing, why can't I just use anything to spray? Maybe uh, take something out of my bathroom or something and just spray it. Well, what you want to do, while you want to get a pressurized sprayer, is that you can use a smaller nozzle, thus getting smaller droplets, which are better absorbed by the plants. I mean, you just don't want these globs on there. You want little tiny things that will get in those pores, into those stomata, and it will make the plants healthier. And you'll see the results very quickly. Thanks a lot. This is Jerry Greenfield from the Survival Garden. You take care of each other.